Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Taylor. In today's video, we're going to be doing a lip and teeth tutorial, or basically just like how I draw a mouth, um, and just how I make it look realistic, the details I add, shading, highlights, all that sort of stuff I'm gonna go over in this video. And I always get questions on it, so I am using the Adobe Draw app, which is a free app for iPhone, and I'm pretty sure that it works on Android as well, but someone can let me know if you have an Android and you use it. If you've never heard of the app or if you're new to digital illustrations, I have a whole video of like beginner basics for how to use the app. So it will be linked down below if you guys wanna check that out if you are new to the app and you need just like a little bit more simple tutorial. Um, I have that as well, and I have a ton of other tutorials that will be linked down below as well. Like I do use my iPhone and my finger for all of these designs. Anything that you see on my Instagram, I use my finger on my iPhone for. I don't have an iPad, I don't have an Apple Pencil, I don't use Procreate or anything fancy like that. If you don't follow my Instagram, you can follow that and see all the stuff that I post. I'm sure a lot of you are from Instagram though, but if you're not, you can check out my Instagram. I post a ton of stuff on there. I always post polls and questions on my stories. Anyways, enough with me talking. Let's just get right into the tutorial. Okay, y'all, here is the picture that we are doing today. So I'm starting off with the highlights on the lips. I just color matched, it's basically like a white color. And I'm just going around it very sporadically. You don't wanna make it like too rounded or like perfect looking, in my opinion. I think you wanna like, you know, make it choppy, kinda like, you know, I don't know why, it just like reminded me of like islands on a map. Like if you would see like an island, it's all like broken up. I'm sorry, I don't know. That's just what it reminded me of. So I'm just doing that on um, the highlights of the lips. Even those little dots, those little dots matter. They add character. Okay, now that the highlights are done, I am doing the little like wrinkles or like creases on her lips. So I'm just taking my tapered brush and I am color matching um, the those shadowed areas and just following exactly what the picture has on it and just drawing over those like creases. Now I'm taking that same color and I'm just, that was too big. Um, I'm going over like the shadowed area in that same uh, darker reddish pinky color. Um, always, like I always say, do the highlights and shadows first. So that's what I am doing. Just outlining that and then I'm going to tap to fill it in. Now that the shadows are done, I am color matching like the lighter part of the lips and I'm just going to kind of draw out that like medium section. It's not a highlight, it's not a shadow, it's just in the middle. So I'm just drawing that out. And now, y'all know the drill, I am just lightening up that color that I was just using and just doing a lighter color on that top part of her lip. And I'm filling in the bottom lip with that, I messed it up, I'm filling in that bottom lip with that same lightest color just because I feel like the bottom lip is just like highlighted basically, there's not really any shadows on it. So that's what I did there. And y'all know me, I always mess up the colors, so I'm just like readjusting the colors, trying to make them look better because I always mess them up and I always have to change the colors like 20 times. So that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> and now I'm just adding like the creases of her lips with that same like shadow, darkest shadow color that I used. And I'm doing just some last minute adjustments before I go on with the rest of the face. I was trying to do highlights and they just looked awful. I don't know what I was doing, but don't worry, I deleted them, I deleted them. <laughs> And 
And now that the lips are done, I'm going to be filling in her skin tone. So I'm just doing like a box around it and then tapping to fill. So simple, so easy. Love Adobe Draw for that. Now I'm taking my tapered brush with a darker shadow color, just a little darker color, and I am using that to do like the sides of the nose, like the creases on the nose, as you can see. And I end up messing around with that color like 50 different times. So um, yeah, it doesn't look that good right now. And now I'm just doing the nostrils <laughs> and I'm just using a bunch of different shades, um, just color matching it. And here I am just doing a little highlight on her nose just to give it some dimension, you know? And now we're moving on to the teeth. Of course, at first I'm doing the highlights. I'm just using the brightest possible white I can get. You don't want to color match this. You just want to use the brightest white. Now that I did the highlights, I'm going to do the shadow. So I'm just color matching like the inside of her mouth color and I'm drawing the outlines of her teeth and um, just so I can fill that in all the same dark color. And I am drawing lines between the teeth. I just think it looks best that way. I don't know. Use your own judgment. Use your own creative juices. I don't know. That's just how I like to do it. And then I'm taking an ever so slightly. This is tricky. You got to get the perfect like not completely white but not so dark that her teeth look like gray or yellow. I think I did a great job but see how like you got to do it dark enough to like see the highlights still. It's it's a tricky business. <laughs> And now, surprise, I changed the color of the lips to bright pink because that's just my vibe. But now I'm adding a nice little shadow underneath the lip. And I'm just using the same color that I used on like the sides of the nostrils. And I'm using my tapered brush to do that. And then I'm going to like go over it with um, the pink and with the skin color, kind of mess it around a little bit just to get it to look the most natural as possible. It takes a lot of tweaking, you know? Now I'm doing the same thing at the top but with the highlight color. So I'm taking that highlight that I used on the nose and I'm just putting that above the lip and with my tapered brush. And obviously that doesn't look very natural. So I'm going to just, you know, do some work around with, with, the, with the lip color and with this, the skin tone and make it look good. Hopefully you think it looks good. I think it looks good. I don't know. <laughs> And now I'm having my realization that the lips don't have enough dimension. So now I'm taking my tapered brush and just taking a darker um, pink color and adding a little bit more uh, creases into the lip. And I think it looks a lot better. So every time you always finish something and you're like, oh, it's perfect. And then you like look at it again and you're like, how did I think that this looked good? Oh, I'm adding a little shadow on the bottom too, just for some extra flair you know but yeah you gotta like look at your picture like 10 billion times after you're done and then like 
by the time you look at it so many times, you just think it's absolutely hideous and like you thought it was so good at first. It's honestly just a vicious cycle. All right, guys, that is it for the lips and teeth tutorial. I hope that you guys learned something from this video. And if you want to learn more, you can always go to my other tutorial videos. I have a ton of videos posted. They will all be linked down below in my tutorials playlist. And you guys can check out my Instagram and my website if you want some more content. Anyways, I hope that you guys subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And leave a comment down below. Let me know any video requests you guys have or what you want me to do a tutorial on. Anything like that, I would love to do your guys' requests or as always you can send me a dm on instagram i always reply to my dms always reply to my comments so hit me up on there if you want yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye